Hey everyone, welcome back. I am about to work on my next page. On this one, I decided to do a belly band. And this is that uneven strip of fabric that I had tore off um, for my first page. And I decided to use that as a belly band. And I'm just going to add this little piece of lace and sew it down. I ended up sewing all the way around and adding another piece of lace on the other side of this page. This one is really quick. Um, I usually like to use a bunch of scraps and just put a whole lot of bling on them to just jazz them up some. And this one I'm struggling to not layer. <laughs> and so I decided to just use a few pieces uh, to make the belly band and I am searching for that ink pad I'm sorry <laughs> I thought it was on the table but that was the last journal <laughs> I, I do put things away afterwards and it just always needs some kind of stamping um, for me otherwise it just looks kind of plain and the stamping is light enough that if they do want to write over it you know it, whatever they write will show. So I'm just trying to pick some pieces. Um, I want to layer at least three things. I don't ever have a, uh, a set amount, um, but I like, you know, a paper, the focal, and some lace. That just seems to be the norm. And sometimes I'll do even more. It just depends. I didn't want to overload it there on the bottom, but I knew I needed something, so I Go back to using this cheesecloth. And it helped that um, I used the same colors. Well, you know what? I think I used Lindy's sprays to smush all the colors on the background for other pages. And then I used um, the Distress Oxides to color this uh, cheesecloth, so... That was cool that they were close enough in uh, color range. That's neat. Otherwise, I would have just dyed it, you know, with the um, Lindy's, which I had done before. I I went through like five or six of my sprays, and I colored, you know, six different pieces of cheesecloth and hung them out to dry, and they've been lasting me. I still haven't found that light blue one that I wanted. <laughs> This is my peacock little treasure chest of buttons. Well, only the dark buttons. I have a whole tin full of the white and the cream buttons. I seriously need to do some shopping for some blue buttons. I'm running out of, been using blue a lot in my journals. So one didn't look right, and then two really didn't look right, and I didn't want to overdo it, so I just settled on two. That middle one is a pretty little um, rose-shaped button, so it really went with, you know, the flower theme. And earlier I didn't mention that I put a piece of acetate behind when I was gluing on the bottom focal point because I glued all the way to the edges of the flower because I forgot. And um, I just stuck the acetate back there so it won't stick to the paper. Here I'm just trying out that butterfly because it's been sitting on my table. <laughs> and it didn't work. So I'm happy with this, um, plain and simple. And instead of a journaling card per se, it's going to be a journaling piece of paper. <laughs> uh, I had already, uh, I had stained this page well, with the Lindy's, and I just didn't put it in the journal yet, so I just used it to uh, for a writing paper. And I'm tearing off the edges to make it look all nice and raggedy, and then I'm going to ink them. And what I want to do is, um, I had that hummingbird napkin. Well, maybe, did I use it yet, or is this the first video? I've already filmed, like, three or four videos. <laughs> and I'm doing, trying to only upload one at a day. <laughs> Not to, you know, overload everybody. <laughs> and um, But these come up, are coming together pretty quick, so I can do more than one page at a time, or in a day. 
Um, but in either way, I wanted to uh, decoupage this napkin that I've got. And um, I got it at a Tuesday morning. Okay, so this is the first time I'm using it. Isn't that pretty? And even though I use a chickadee on the, the first page, and it's, uh, the journal is called Hummingbird, but it's only called Hummingbird because of the digital kit that I'm using. So I don't, I know to use the, uh, the tape method, but I don't want to tear up my backings because I do use them in um, other projects. And right now, you know, you never know when you, what you need to wipe your bum with. So <laughs> I definitely want to save. <laughs> I want to save anything I can <laughs> instead of throwing it away. So I'm just choosing this one little hummingbird to go in here. And I'm, I'm trying to remember if I already stamped it or not. I like to add some stamps, you know, um, and I use the, the coffee color instead of the black so that it just kind of fades in the background and doesn't overpower because I want the hummingbird and the flower to, uh, to be the focal point. So I like to use Mod Posh. That's just what I'm comfortable with. And I start from the center and kind of go out in all angles to reduce, you know, the wrinkling. I'm sure I do get some wrinkles, but they're hardly noticeable. And for me, everything's grungy and I don't mind wrinkles at all. And I do a little speed drying there. Boom. <laughs> and I made sure that everything was stuck down before I, you know, put the Mod Podge away. Because sometimes I don't get some of the ends very well, and I have to add a little more. And here I'm struggling to open up this. I got this on clearance a couple weeks ago at Hobby Lobby for 49 cents. And I just thought that would look good. I had pulled out the blue just in case because blue was on the page. But, of course, it just didn't match on the carpet. Everything is like pink. And so I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And that's going to be pretty much for this page. Um, I don't... It seems weird. It feels like I should be taking more time uh, to create a page. But doing it this way, it seems like my pages are getting done quicker. Which I don't like quick because then it's like i got to figure out something else to do <laughs> with my time. But... This this one was pretty easy, and uh, I hope it gave you a little inspiration, and thank you so much for watching and joining me on my little crafting journey. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.